Well, Petrus, let's hope that your actual words help. Admiral? You have come at the right time, Your Excellency. Have I? I am in a delicate situation and your help would be invaluable. How so? I'm listening, Admiral. Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. Oh. It is almost certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Oh. Why ask me to take care of it? This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the guild being expelled. The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Anyway, Fair enough. their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? It's up to you to find out. But all the Norts know how we navigate our ships. You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. Agreed. I agree. Where can I find Captain Reuben? At the port in your town. You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. Ah. I'm counting on you, Your Excellency. We must shed light on this case. Will do. <clears throat> Anyways, hello everyone. My name is Dana Roo. Welcome back to Greenfall. I have come to talk to you about a personal matter. My sadness is I profound. To you, I was sure you would come back to find me. What would you like to know? You told me that I was born on one of your ships. Of an islander captured on the island. We'd like to know about this woman's origins. I'm afraid I can't help you. I did not take part in those expeditions. And our old archives are far from here. Is there no one on Tia Fredi who can help us? Please. Very well. Hey, please? I do know an old captain who could perhaps help you out. Where can he be found? His ship is moored in the port of Hikmet, if I'm not mistaken. His name is Captain Lissandro. Ah. Thank you for your help, Admiral. The Sarde? Yes, Admiral. Don't get too caught up in the past. That one in particular. Nothing good will come of it. Don't you tell me what to do. choose to get caught up in it, Admiral, the past always catches up with us. Sadly, I'm paying the price of this. Indeed. Oh wait. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> Well, so I won't apologize if I'm not talking as much. I've been having a bit of trouble. My tongue's been getting cut. It annoys me. Weakly enlightened that a captain who took part in these expeditions is right here on the island. It is indeed a stroke of luck. I hope he remembers my mother. Do he better. Worry. If his memory fails him, he may have kept his diary from that time. Journal. Not diary. And there we are. Hello, Captain. Well now, what fair wind blows you into port? Admiral Cabral advised me to speak to you about a matter of some concern to me. The Admiral? Coming from a legate, I should have expected that. So? You are the only one on this island that can help me. Really? Oh, I think I understand. That's why your face looked familiar. The congregation is good at keeping its secrets, isn't it? This story is not a new one. 25 years. 25 years since the Norts brought a woman who was captured on this island to Serene. I remember. And yet it wasn't the first time. But on that occasion, a child was born. So you can understand why we'd like to learn where this captive came from. Yes, yes. I have seen more than a few Norts looking for their parents. But what have you got to do with all this? I met that woman in Serene. I got to know her well. 
listen, it's not that I don't want to help you, but my memory is no longer what it was. Bullshit. I wasn't the captain at the time. I wasn't the one who decided where we moored the ship. So I don't see how I can help you find out where the... Do you need a little gold? You're quite the merchant, aren't you? I do, actually. I don't have that much on me, but it's not a problem. Go ahead. I have to go. As you wish. <laughs> There we are, that's where I need to go. Run down the way. Just a bit further. Ah! There we go. To sell all this stuff that I don't really need it. Okay. Thanks for your visit. Let's go pay that motherfucker. Ah! I still like the hole I left us there. Wait for me here. I... Thank you. Here it is. I found my old logbook. There's a passage in it that would probably interest you. Your mother came from a village on the plains in the southeast of the island. I'm talking about a place where the bones of the whale are visible from the coast. I believe the natives call it Vignamri. Thank you for this information, Captain. It's nothing. I'm getting sentimental in my old age. Good luck to you. <laughs> so here you are on the verge of discovering your mother's village, of finding your own people. How do you feel? I like really pissed know. off. I'm a little lost, I suppose. All of this is so new to me. I understand. Mrs. Desade was loving. She raised you with tenderness. And today you learn she is not your real mother. I'm sorry. Eh. At the fiery blasts, you'll find the quintessence. There we go. <clears throat> There's my house. But then we're we just here. Yeah, we were. Because I remember this place. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Yes, bastard. I recently found out that my mother came from your village. Your mother was from Vignamri. 
Now I understand why your face seems so familiar to me. Indeed. She was captured before my birth and sent to the continent. She was called Arelwyn. Did you know her? Of course. Everyone here remembers her kidnapping. Could you tell me more about that? I was not the head of the clan back then. It was a very long time ago, but I remember the village the Nagad. Kidnapped by the people of the sea, all our warriors set off to her rescue. But it was all in vain. Most of them died, including the one she loved. That is it sad. It was a dark day in which our village lost its knowledge and strength in one blow. Very sad indeed. My father died too. Do you know if any members of my family are still alive? Yes. Slan, your mother's sister. She then became our Donegad. She was never able to match her sister's talent. Too much knowledge had been lost. Relwyn was a renowned healer across all of Tiafradi. Taking her place was not an easy task. It's not I surprising that. that she was of interest to the congregation. They probably hoped she could help them find a cure for the Malachor. But all alone, far from the island, she was just a young, frightened woman who had lost all her powers. Do you know where I can find my aunt? You could try her house, but she's rarely there. She is an elderly woman now, and very much enjoys her own company. She doesn't speak much to me, but others here can probably tell you where to find her. Thank, Thank you. you. Anything else? No. Nothing. I must... What do you think of the chief of your village? He seems quite friendly compared to the others we've run into. A bit too he was a dick. Me. A little too concerned with pleasing the settlers. And you think that's a bad thing? He reminds me of myself when I was younger. And that's not a compliment. My fear is that he serves his own ambition. And this is often done at the expense of others. There's no one here. Let's go and ask the inhabitants of the village if they know where to find her. The islanders protect their Donega. I don't know if they'll speak to some Renikes. Don't forget, you are one of them after all. <laughs> Hello. Renikse. Do you need help, Renikse? Actually, yes. I'm looking for the village Donegad. Oh. And what do you want from her? Ula I'm told her she nephew. Could help me to find someone. <laughs> Ulan must have wanted to play a dirty trick on you. There's no love lost between Ulan and the Denegad. She says that he loves the people from your island too much. But Ulan saved our village. Anyway, uh. if you want to find... I am not sure if she is there right now. I'm extremely grateful. Well, that was easy. <clears throat> So how far? Ah. That way. Okay. Easy enough to handle, you know? Nice. Gotta keep running, gotta keep running, you know? Can't stop running. Give me the fungus. Oh, I'm almost there.
Well, that was easy. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Now that's taken care of. There's a woman over there, surrounded by animals. Maybe in life you protect me in this battle. you for stepping in. I don't understand what has happened. Usually these animals accept me. Something must have frightened them. We are glad we arrived at the right time. We would have been very upset if something had happened to you. Excuse me, but are you Slan, the Denegad of Vignamri? Yes. Please. That's me. Were you looking for me? Yes. Yes, we were. If you would allow us, we'd like to accompany you and tell our story along the way. Very well. I will walk by your side. This is Aww. the story we have pieced together. I... I just can't believe it. Yet, if I think about it... <laughs> if I think about your it... Your face reminds me of hers. Aww. Or rather, the woman who raised me gave me this necklace. A Relwyn gave it to me, to give to her child, and I passed it on to Mrs. De Sade. It looks familiar. Your father had given it to your mother when they bound. It's good that you are wearing it today. My poor beloved Relwyn, who died far away from us all. And the Vortier say, I still miss her so much. I... She wanted me to help her die. But I was unable to do such a thing. Someone would have figured it out. I would have been sent back to Tuleme, and I would have lost everything. So I watched her suffer. And one day she died. Petrus, God damn I it. cannot hold it against you for letting her live. No, you don't understand. I loved her. I loved her and I didn't even have the strength to end her suffering. She's the only woman I've ever loved. I... Damn. I never would have guessed. Everyone loved her, Elwyn. She was marvelous. <laughs> you cannot blame yourself, man of the light. What's more, you brought me her child. For that alone, she would forgive you if she were among us. Aww. All is well now. The child of Tiafradi has returned home, and with him, the spirit of his mother. You are home, my magum. Welcome. Petrus, I wanted to thank you. Now level me up. Despite everything you know about me. Yeah? You may have been a bit cowardly in the past, to the point of letting the woman you loved suffer. You were manipulative, and you lied to everyone, including yourself. But thanks to what you've told me, I've been able to find my family and my origins. And for that, uh, thank, thank you. you. My child, what you're saying touches me more than you can imagine. At least I've done something good for once in my deceitful life. For you and for her. Aww. I hope the enlightened will remember this when I stand before him. Who knows? Now, I know I have more stuff to do. So let's go handle that. Ah! Alright, let's go.
It's just been a lot of traveling today. <laughs> Alright. Ruben! Ruben! There you are. Captain Ruben? Hi. The man himself. To whom do I have the... Desade. What brings you here? The Admiral asked me to shed light on your lip. I see. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. The Admiral told me that you were the new captain of the ship we arrived on. The Seahorse? Yes. It's an excellent ship and a good crew. But you did the crossing. You know it as well as me. And did you want to know anything? You told the Admiral that you suspect one of your crew members. Indeed. The young apprentice sailor, Alba. A committed volunteer from Telemi. Now she only joined us a short time ago. And did you want to know anything else? No. That'll be all, Captain. <laughs> what brings you here? The Admiral asked me... I see. What led you to these... Well, the girl's behavior. She was very <laughs> eager at then. Suddenly, she became nervous. She's a recent recruit, which inevitably raised some doubts about her vocation. Sometimes I saw her hanging around my cabin, my papers, and since we've returned to port, she's almost never on board. But you should probably talk to the other members of the crew. Did you want to know any... Nope. That'll be all, Captain. All right. Any, any money, uh, you. Your Excellency, it's a pleasure. What could I do for you? Can you tell me anything about Alba? Oh, I don't know her very well. She only joined our crew recently. But she pulls her away. You can't hold that against her. You might say she shows a little too much zeal even, at times. At times. Being said, ever since we got here, I found her... Would you know where I could find her? No. Well, I hope she didn't do something stupid. Okay, anything else? No, that's it. I need to be off. Farewell, then. You, show us. Your Excellency. The pleasure is shared. What can I do for you? I would like you to tell me anything you can about a member of your crew. Alba. She joined our party recently. But I like her already. She works hard and is full of courage. You know, she is one of those rare I don't know if they're supposed to look like children person. or anything, but, but this is very uncanny. She could to become one of our own. <laughs> Until we arrived here, she suddenly became distraught. Do you know where I could find her? N no. I've not seen her for a while. Anything else, sure? No. I'm afraid I need to be. Hey, happy to see you again. Good, thank you. Then straight to it. Oh, I'm looking for a naught. A young woman going by the name of Alba. I know her. She joined our crew at the same time as our new captain. Did you try the tavern? Don't give me that look there. I've kept from the bottle since that story with Jonas, you know that. No matter. When we're at dark, there's nothing much else to do. It might be that little Alba went there to take a look. Anything else? No. I need to go. Smoke. To the tavern! Secrets have not helped us a great deal. This Alba had just enlisted. She was happy, then changed her attitude. But is she a spy? We were told nope. that she was sometimes at the tavern. We should take a look there. Are your boots hmm. There we go. Zigzag my way around. This time you are going too far. I will not let you say one more word. Come on, gentlemen. <laughs> Please calm down. Who are you to give us orders? A That's friend. true. You want to see how tough? Oh, you don't know who you're messing with. My child, I doubt that your job as legate involves managing fights between drunkards. You better get out of here unless you want to end up in jail. Oh, he thinks we'll allow that to happen. 
On guard, sir! <coughs> On guard! Alright. Oh, no, did he? Hello, Your Excellency. Let me get my loot. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Sorry. Nope, up there. Get the fuck out of my way, guys. Damn it, come on! Your Excellency. Hey, look at that! <laughs> How may I help you? That'll be all, soldier. Hello, my darling. It's rare to see the. Do you and yours want to. I'm sorry, but I. Really? What would you like then? I'll let None. you get on. <sighs> You're there. What can I pour for you? I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Reuben's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. Anything else? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. Now I gotta change my outfit. Go figure. Ah! No. What can I pull for? Nothing, thank. There we go. Oh, there you are. We're looking for a young nought. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. A girl who loses her pay with style. <laughs> but I don't know where she is. She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. Hmm. We're looking for a young nought. She's part of Captain Reuben's crew. Yeah, I think I know. Oh. Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she would like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? But if that's why you're looking, I'm often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention. Tell me what you. S this should quench your thirst. So well. <laughs> Returning late at night, I spotted a guy I'd seen before, and he was in the street, fiddling with a stone, looking so. I took a closer look when he left. I thought he'd said no. There was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. They were messages, and from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> now, I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what ah. it was about, but maybe those were your secrets? Where is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The Thank you, soldier. My pleasure. Do you want to know? Uh, no. That'll be all. Dead trap, huh? Then clearly the exit's this way. I uh, fucked up that one. <laughs> Down here. Uh, it's very hard for me to talk sometimes. Right now, especially. I'm really enjoying the game. Definitely. 
<laughs> Underneath the stone. Ah, there it is. This stone must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. A box under a stone. What do we do now? Well then. Oh, I'm a little old for. <laughs> we can see without being seen here. Indeed. Shall we wait here. Yeah. Someone is approaching. Maybe our spy. Now. Yeah. Move. This man looks like a messenger. We should follow him and find out who gives him his order. I know I can't approach too closely. Otherwise it blows the cover. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, what are you plotting? Fool! They followed us! I... But I was careful! I'm the legate of the merchant congregation and you have been caught plotting treason. So I suggest you talk. What do these messages contain and what are they about? You're wasting your time. I, I, I won't say a word. Oh? Do you realize that you were suspected of espionage and conspiracy? Don't you think you better explain yourself? Wait, I, I don't want to end up in jail. It, it's not about the secrets of the congregation. Uh, let me explain. Go ahead. Some time ago, it was rumored that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. Well, my country was interested. So uh, I started exchanging messages as you've been doing. The Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also wanted to become a citizen. But we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete. Just promises. Who is the Nort you're talking to? Oh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose. But I doubt it's a real name. God well. damn it. You seem to be telling the truth. And give me the message in your possession before leaving. Very well. Here it is. Now, if you'll allow me, uh, I, I will leave the town. Well, now. That's a lot to handle. You'll find all you need Shut up! <laughs> You'll find all you need, best here in tier for thee. Ah, your excellency. So? There is indeed a spy among the Nords, but the spy's identity remains to be proven. Take this. I have recovered this note. Which seems to suggest that your secrets have been offered to several buyers. The Alliance citizen we met did not win the bid. I knew it. My logbook has just been stolen. And of course, Alba is missing. Do we really still need proof? This book must be found at all costs before Alba sells it. Your Excellency, can we count on you once more? I would yeah. like to help you. But this island is vast. How could I possibly hope to find it? Alba is from Telemi. She probably took refuge in San Mateus. This reduces the search area a little. What do you This is a trail that deserves to be followed. God damn it. You know what?
Damn, which one was the good one? Oh, right. Time to teleport. Eh? Doesn't seem like anyone else needs a good talking to yet. Ah, that's why. There we go. I got murdered. Hmm. All right, time to sell some stuff. That one first. Wrong way. <laughs> Can't go that way. Damn. Let's get a camper to set up though. Yay, camp. Hmm. Alright, onward and forward. we have here who are you to come and disrupt our solitude good day we you you are on Olmenawi and at the same time Renaixi 
Yep. So it is possible to bond yourself on your faraway island? We are here because Teleme has asked us to carry out an investigation. They think that certain clans venerate a demon, an evil creature. We carried out our investigation of Vedlog on Chief Durdra in an attempt to discover the truth. And the clues have led us to find our answers in this sanctuary. Durdra sends you to seek out a demon? <laughs> Curious. A man from your island came already a long time ago, full of questions he was as well. I see. He had a small party of warriors with smoking tubes, and on their chests, a golden lion. A lion? The coat of arms of the Bridge Alliance, in our territory. Such boldness. Agreed. They set up a camp near here, and then they disappear, all of a sudden. Do you know where, precisely? It was a long time ago. I don't hmm. remember all that well. My memory has been leaving me of late. No. But it wasn't far from here. You, ah, you are bringing back the memories. Really? They were asking nearly the... Huh. Gross. Up here. Hello there. A fresco in various yellow hues. It represents a sort of insect. Ah. There we go. Now we keep moving forward this way. Thank you. Hmm. The swamp consumed these bodies almost entirely. These must be the Renaigze the Hermit told us about. Probably. You can still discern the crest of the Alliance on this doublet. Let's search the area. There might still be something interesting. Well, I found something. Hmm. Clears up that area for now. But first, finish just finish searching the swamp before we go talk back to the old hermit. is fading. I can't see much of anything. Very sad. Do, 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 do. Up here. <clears throat> Hello there. Fresco. It represents a beast of the marshes, a red serpent. Now we go talk to him. Easy come, easy go. There we are. What do you want, strange stranger? We found the camp you spoke of. Well, all that remains of it. <laughs> I told you, you were not the first Renegse went by here. I like the way Many he speaks. Died. What happened to them? I warned them, I remember. They did not listen very well. Too bad. Their weapons were strange, strange and powerful, but not enough so. The marsh is more powerful still. That doesn't seem to bother you all that much. 
Tifradi gives, Tifradi takes back. Fair enough. But you're still here. What do you want again? I found this note. It speaks of a ritual, but it is incomplete. Do you know anything else about it? A ritual? Yes, there is a ritual for the impatient. For me, it serves no purpose. I am here. I wait. But for me, it would be useful. Can you help me? Deirdre must have her reasons. The folly of youth. Do you see those drums over there? They awaken the earth. As long as you play them correctly, they will awaken the earth. Oh, and that's not all. Once the earth is awakened, the stool will appear. That must be quenched. I see. Quench a stone. But you're still here. How do you play the drums? Oh, that's easy. You need only respect the natural order for the earth to hear you. A predator, a prey, the cycle. That's... Come now, come now. I'm listening. All right. Damn it. Here. Next, let's get it. Oh, yeah. I'm listening. Each drum must only be played one time and only once. But you still... Okay. Quench a stone. Water trickles on the stone and returns to us, empowered by... This note I found explains a recipe. A potion thought to contain the essence of this place. That's what must be poured over the stone. Oh, yes. But you're still here. No. All right, time to go beat the drums. Hmm. Oh, hello there. Something's appeared over there. It seems as if it's some type of altar. It looks like an altar. This... What is this? It's a water hide. Gross. Hold oh, the in it. Fuck off, damn it. Come on. Ow. Okay, I need a heal. Really? Done. <laughs> When in doubt, gun. Dear Thunsadark! Killed! You killed her! Monsters! Murderers! You knew her, old man? 
before she became a Nadaig. May the earth swallow you whole. You and those from their dark oil. They must all be destroyed. But in all Milfrekti men will stop them. He will huh? chase you all away. Murderers! His hunt has begun! Calm down. We didn't have a choice. We were only defending ourselves. Shior, what is he talking about? Why is he so furious and who is... What the fuck is going on? Frichtemann? I believe he is furious because he knew the Nadai before she bonded. He mourns her in this way. It was a Donegad who received very much power and who traded herself completely. Are you saying that that creature was once a woman? Yes. Oh. Like you and me. Anyone who draws upon the power of the earth becomes one of their faces in exchange. As for your other question. Enon Mir Frichtemann means one of a thousand faces. This name rings a bell. I've heard it before. It is surely the name of the demon we seek to expose. Enon Mir Frichtemann. <laughs> I doubt that you can understand. But enough to think that this being wants us harmed. Perhaps it's the source of the Malachor. <laughs> and why is that? Why would the source of your sickness come from here? I don't know, Siora. But didn't this man just say that this being would hunt us down? We need to learn more. It's indeed a good idea to learn more. <clears throat> I'll have to come back here later. For now, let's get the fuck out. Get us the fuck out. There we go. You survived. Which must mean, alas, that one of the Nadaig is with us no longer. You are a great warrior. You could almost be a storm warrior. Mm. What do you I seek? Like that. You set a trap for us. Invoking and releasing that creature. It is true. And the Nadaig is indeed one of the faces. A spirit of the oil. I was hoping that you would disappear. The swamps do not like to give back those who enter. You have seen things that no stranger to our clan has ever seen. Secrets that no one must know. But you survived. You are strong. I should not have taught you so weak. The ritual. This is how you prepare the blood sap. What are you talking about, Siora? No one knows the recipe. But it is the very barm that allows her warriors to enter into a trance. And to rise again when they have fallen. It is true. You do not know the ingredients, but you know now how the blessing works. I have nothing more to give you than my excuses. And that you keep to yourself all that you have seen. You are a brave on all Manawi. And I would like to request your help. After what you've done. Help after sending me on a suicide mission. <laughs> what the fuck, you bitch? You helped us to find the camp of the soul, Lasser. And you have proven your valor fighting the Nardaik. So, yes. I am asking for your help in saving the people who are suffering in this camp. What do you intend to do exactly? Attack and destroy this camp and those who live in it to set my people free. What? But how am I supposed to help you? My clan is powerful, but so are these soul lasser. I need more warriors. Eseld of the Gaius Rad is in my debt, but I'm afraid she might refuse to honor it after her clan was defeated. You know how to talk to people, and you are friends with her twin sister. I would like you to go and convince her to help me. I suppose I could try at least. That hmm. would be good. 
Okay. Meet us near the camp with the forces you managed to assemble. This is not good. But I got power. That's all that matters. I do not want to interrupt. But I think our priority should be to find Cornelia. I doubt our mother cardinal is aware of the Inquisition's actions. What? She certainly want to put an end to it all to appease the natives. Whereas, a frontal assault led by Deirdre and her men would only rekindle the conflict. And Cornelia would certainly take umbrage at an intervention of the congregation without even informing her of the situation. Fair enough. You know what? Let's head back to the Cabin of the Stone Ark, and we're going to call today's episode here. I'm sorry for not talking that much. Again, it, it hurts to talk when your tongue gets cut. <clears throat> Even more so when you're trying to talk very often. So to all those who are watching this, I hope you all enjoy, at least enjoyed today's episode. Consider giving a like. Check out the Patreon link down below. Fuck the tongue cuts. The valley is vast. We should get to a vantage point if we want to find this expedition. Fair enough. And we'll do that next time. This has been Dana Real playing Grief Falls. Signing off. Later.